You know, it has been nearly a year since a derelict drilling barge headed for the scrap heap capsized in the Sherrington Canal. In so doing, blocking a major artery of waterborne transportation and commerce for an entire region of this state. Now, Acadiana's newest member of the congressional delegation is trying to force the feds to do what nobody else has been able to do, clear the canal. KLFY TV 10 Eyewitness News anchor Julie Darcy explains how come Jeff Landry is putting pressure on the Army Corps of Engineers. This is video of the barge that sunk in the Sherrington Canal. It's from last year. But the thing is, the situation is pretty much the same. But now a new voice is making noise about the issue. It's been almost one year since a 2,000 ton barge sunk in the Sherrington Canal, slowing shipping traffic for businesses in the area. Now the problem has made it all the way to the top. At a hearing in Washington, D.C., Representative Jeff Landry made a direct plea to the top brass of the U.S. Corps of Engineers to finally do something. Sir, sir, the problem is, is that when the Corps wants to use its authority over navigational waters, it does so. But this is a navigational canal. I have letters from my sugar refineries that it's impeding commerce. Landry says it's the responsibility of the Corps to remove the abandoned vessel. The Corps agreed they had the authority to do so, but said the problem now is the issue of who is financially responsible. It is now up to the U.S. Department of Justice to decide. In the studio, I'm Julie Dorsey for KLFY-TV 10 Eyewitness News.